Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the 10 most heavily guarded people in the world or the 10 most protected people in the world as I search. And this is kind of going off the video that I reacted to recently was, which was to do with the most heavily guarded or the most well protected places in the world. And I guessed it would be like the White House and Buckingham Palace. How wrong I was. I was so off with that. It kind of makes sense now because obviously you look into it and you start kind of think, well, these are tourist attractions. These are like tourist attractions. People are allowed inside the White House, certain parts. So, I mean, as as heavily protected as it is or guarded as it is, there's still going to be like, it's not going to be as high on the list because there's sort of like the tourist attraction side of it. Same with Buckingham Palace. But yeah, I mean, with the most heavily guarded people, it's got the president's got to be here. I mean, I've seen the amount of money that they spend on protecting him. So he's going to be like up there. The queen, I mean, I don't know what her sort of protection would be. I don't know if she would be here, but I don't know, because I don't really know what happened. I guess like when there's like a royal wedding, there is like a lot of like police around to like try and protect, etc. But I don't know. And then other people like, when I come to think of it, I don't really know. I'm going to probably be surprised when I see this. It's probably going to be like secret agents and people. I don't know. Would secret agents even be protected? Because if they were being protected, they would be very secret. I don't even know. I'm, I'm interested though, because again, I don't really know what to expect, who to expect in this. So it's going to be a surprise, but... Let's get into this. Quick shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter, links in the description for those interested. On the road to 6k on my Instagram, so I'd appreciate you following that. Save for Patreon, links all there for those interested. A lot of Patreon exclusive videos are being posted. And yeah, for those interested, the links all there. But let's get into this and let's see. We, I mean, this is of the president, so he is definitely going to be on this list. But I do wonder who else is going to be here. A handful of people control a disproportionately large percentage of the world's power. <laughs> Pew Putin. Or Putin. Yeah, it's Putin. Is it Putin? Pu Putin. Putin. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> For God's sake. So who else is going to be? Like, there's going to be other leaders. I can't think of leaders, though. Whether they are political figures Kim or business mm. moguls, okay, these individuals can restructure the lives of millions with a single decision. Of course, these mm. figures inevitably make numerous enemies and require a veritable arsenal to keep them... Mark Zuckerberg, the lick... The lick. The lizard himself. Safe. From tech titans to repressive presidents, we are looking at the 10 most protected people in the world. The Pope? Prince Harry and... Meghan? Security arrangements at Prince Harry and Meghan's new home could cost up to 654 million. So is this where they're living? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't this in Canada? This is close to the couple report. They settled on Frogmore Cottage, an abode about 45 minutes outside of London. It is located... What? Wait, oh, wait, when was this video made? 2019. Oh, this is before all the stuff happened isn't it i mean i didn't know where they lived before but yeah this is outdated in windsor sure, berkshire and is near the famous windsor castle according to royal expert katie nickel the place is basically no. like a fortress vanity fair has also reported that security at frogmore cottage is fort knox style with high-tech cameras and sensors mm -hmm. around the perimeter those who have been in the area said that drones are banned from being flown near the home. Police flight safety notice. Drones prohibited in this area. A sign reads, launching, landing, or operating drones or remote-controlled aircraft is prohibited in this area. This is in addition to a security force with more than 1,000 highly trained soldiers dedicated to the safety of the young couple. What? Bill Gates? In February 1998, Bill Gates was already a household... So this is interesting, because when it comes... When when like, I can't talk... Most guided people, I'm assuming like when they travel and stuff, but I've seen pictures of Bill Gates, like memes all over the internet of him going to like the local, what are they like, burger bar or something. And he's just standing there casually. That's not protection, but I guess maybe it's more like, well, I don't know, when they're traveling, etc. Maybe it's just in their homes, I guess, because with um, Meghan Markle and Harry, it showed their home. So I and guess his company, Microsoft, was proving to be the single most successful software company in the world. However, this same month, a team of pranksters attacked Bill Gates in Brussels, Belgium, and threw cream pies at his head. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even know this ever happened. Poor and guy. Though the prank was innocent enough, it shook Gates to his core. If the attack had been more insidious, he easily could have been dead. After this, he built a new office with bulletproof walls and windows. Suddenly, employees needed a security clearance just to meet with their executive. After the dot-com bubble burst, Gates received numerous death threats from former employees whom Microsoft was forced to lay off. It is unclear if the increase in security came from Gates or from the Microsoft board, but it is obvious that his brilliance has been instrumental in the success of the company, and they couldn't afford to lose him. 
Mark Zuckerberg, so he is here as well. Prominent Silicon Valley companies spend liberally to protect their intellectual property. Some also shell out considerable amounts to protect their executives. He's so strange, Apple's man. most recent proxy statement shows the company spent $310,000 on personal security for CEO Tim Cook. But that's a fraction of other tech giants' expenditures. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg was the costliest executive to protect. Facebook spent $7.3 million on his security in 2017. And last summer, the company told investors that it anticipated spending $20 million annually. This has ballooned since 2013, when Zuckerberg's security detail cost $2.6 million. In a statement, Facebook said, We believe that Mr. Zuckerberg's role puts him in a unique position. He is synonymous with Facebook, and as a result, negative sentiment regarding our company is directly associated with and often transferred to Mr. Zuckerberg. Armed executive protection officers stand on constant guard outside Zuckerberg's gated homes in the Bay Area, at least one of which also features a panic room. If he goes to Jeez. a bar, his team will first sweep through to make sure it's safe. They will vet any new doctors, and they will assess his instructors if he wants to take up a new hobby. He is driven everywhere, with the security team monitoring traffic and adjusting his route accordingly. What the hell? Xi Jinping, the president of China, is another controversial and powerful head of state. The Central Security Bureau remains secretive, and little is known about its internal functions. However, the team is allegedly 5,000 people strong, and uses a network of helicopters, drones, and armed guards to secure locations days in advance of Jinping's arrival. Because China puts a huge emphasis on cybersecurity, the Central Security Bureau has a separate team to deal with any perceived online threat. However, in the past, the CSB has been used directly against the Chinese head of state. Apparently, in the 1970s, many of its highest-ranking officers planned a failed coup against then-leader Mao Zedong. Though the coup was quashed, people still question the loyalty of this semi-autonomous organization. When the unit was first formed, it had high requirements for enlistment. Any candidates must be a junior high school graduate, a requirement that does not appear to be much today, but it was considered tough back in the early 1950s, when over half of the Chinese population was illiterate. The unit was prohibited from participating in any public parade, with only a single exception. After the arrest of the Gang of Four, a huge celebration was held in October 1976 in Beijing, and the unit was granted permission to participate in this single public event. Oh, this guy. He nearly bought a soccer team. He was going to buy a soccer team, and he's like, he's a very, I know he's a really controversial person. So I'm interested in seeing what his sort of protection is. I know he's got money, to say the least. Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, wields huge political and economic power in the world. Through the state-owned oil company Saudi Aramco, bin Salman and his family are some of the richest people on the planet. And since his alleged involvement in the assassination of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, the crown prince has made some international enemies. Since coming to power in 2017, he has consolidated the power of his military personnel, combining Saudi Arabia's military and security agencies. He has a 1,000-person strong security team that includes traditional soldiers and a cybersecurity team. And he announced that 800 new officer appointments are planned by the end of 2019. Bin Salman has already spent more than $20 billion on military equipment in the last two years. How he plans to use this technology is another question entirely. The queen says she is here. Part of being royal involves regular interactions with the public and remaining as accessible as possible. That's what I was saying, like, because you can't be that protected if you're like, you're seeing people in public a lot. But I guess there's ways around that do still protect you. And but security see. can be a big issue, especially in today's world. How do members of the royal family continue to do their jobs without putting themselves at risk? The answer is that they have an enormous team of security that try to remain entirely invisible at public events. One is called okay. the Queen's Guard, and they are tasked with caring for Queen Elizabeth specifically. The 93-year-old monarch has a special role as a figurehead of her country, and her safety is paramount. In combination with the Scotland Yard, the Queen's Guard screens each building that she enters, and always has a carefully calculated escape plan in place to keep her out of harm's way. In addition to bodyguards and chauffeured cars, the royal family always travels with a motorcade or police escort, even to Prince George's school. This helps clear the road, as well as providing protection for Wait, what? In addition to bodyguards and chauffeured cars, the royal family always travels with a motorcade or police escort, even to Prince He goes to school with security guards. Wait, George's what? school. This helps clear the road, as well as providing protection for members of the royal family. The pipe. Because of the decorum surrounding the Catholic Church's ceremonies, most of the Pope's security team are dressed like they're about to attend a Renaissance fair. But the truth is, they are a high-end military force made up of top ex-Swiss soldiers. Referred to as the Swiss Guard, the group was actually established in 1506 under Pope Julius II. 
The Pontifical Swiss Guard is among the oldest military units in continuous operation. Recruits to the Guard must be unmarried Swiss Catholic males between 19 and 30 years of age, who have completed basic training with the Swiss Armed Forces. And apparently Pope Francis has been a headache for this elite force. Because he is the people's pope, Francis insists on walking amongst his followers, even though that presents a great threat to his safety. The crowds throw things, says his head of security in an interview. They throw flags, dolls, and obviously babies toward him. It's difficult because... Baby? You don't throw babies. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Because we don't want our agents to overreact. He doesn't want to see an overreaction either, but you don't want to miss anything. The order remains very secretive, and it is unclear how many personnel are involved. But one thing is clear. This is not a military force you want to mess with. Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un is the president of North Korea, and easily one of the most contentious politicians on the globe. His repressive government is renowned as one of the most brutal totalitarian forces in history. And Kim Jong-un is not someone to take lightly. He's on such December a strange 12, 2013, guy on his Kim ordered the everything. execution of his uncle for treachery. Kim is widely believed to have ordered the assassination of his half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, in Malaysia what? in February 2017. The same year, the North Korean government stated that the CIA of the United States and the South Korean National Intelligence Service hired a North Korean lumberjack who worked in Russia to assassinate Kim Jong-un with a biochemical weapon that was both radioactive and nanopoisonous, and whose effect would have been delayed by a few months. Since then, Kim has beefed up his already impressive security squad. His team is comprised of dozens of highly- So this is him. People just running beside his car. Martial artists who jog alongside Kim's limo when he travels. One bizarre requirement being they can't be taller than pint-sized Kim, who is about 5 feet 5 inches. The mysterious <laughs> bunch seems to appear from nowhere every time their leader's limo slows down. They also seem to be able to choreograph themselves so that they always have a 360 degree view around Kim. Whenever Kim travels, he flies with two decoy jets, so it's unclear which plane he's actually traveling in. All in all, Kim is said to have 90,000 soldiers at the ready to defend him personally at any moment. Donald Trump number two, so number one. Who's gonna be, again, this list isn't 100% correct probably. There's probably like possibilities to move here and there. But I'm just interested in seeing who number one is because I, I would have only assumed Trump would be number one or the president of the US would be number one. Long before Donald Trump was elected president of the United States, he had a substantial security team due to his celebrity status and massive fortune. However oh, wow. you feel about his politics, it is undeniable that Trump has made some enemies, and his safety has never been more jeopardized. Though he is following standard procedure established by previous heads of state, Trump now roams with a veritable army of security personnel, 1,000 people strong. The presidential motorcade includes a quick response team, a sealed cabin, and a unit to respond to nuclear, biological, or chemical weapons. In addition to Air Force One, debatably the most secure aircraft in the world, Trump's Crazy, armory man. includes the presidential limousine, nicknamed the Beast, the Marine One helicopter, plus a litany of supporting vehicles and staff. They're all designed to keep the president safe and away from protesters. However, Trump's leisure trips have invoked criticism. His trips to play golf at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida have cost taxpayers just shy of $150 million, while his security is government mandated, he has cost taxpayers more than three times the amount as the Obamas for an equivalent period. Trump also spent $16 million on a new state-of-the-art Cadillac CT6 sedan with everything you'd need to stay alive in the midst of an attack, including bulletproof glass, a supply of the president's blood type, and an independent air supply to thwart a chemical attack. Vladimir Putin. Okay. Vladimir Putin worked for many years in Russia's Federal Security Service before climbing the political ladder and becoming president. Putin, of all people, has an appreciation for the necessity of heightened protection. Because he is a man with many enemies, he has beefed up the presidential security service during his time in office. Though the organization is necessarily secretive, Putin employs 2,000 to 3,000 plainclothes officers to guard him at any given time. They secure any buildings that he is scheduled to enter and work around the clock to mitigate any threats to his safety. The unit has armored cars, drones, and even a dedicated psychological security unit that collects intelligence regarding any perceived threat either at home or abroad. And it pays to do well in these positions. Many of Putin's guards have been promoted to prestigious positions in the Kremlin and gained wealth and prosperity. And Putin has gifted many of them prized properties in the most highly sought after parts of Russia, often wow. turning to bribery, intimidation, and blackmail to scare the current residents out of their homes. Some were decorated by World War II veterans whom the Soviet Union had promised lifetime employment and pensions. But in the newly independent Russian Federation, there can be no such guarantees. During the 1990s, these workers say, a small clique of powerful businessmen and criminals used manipulation, forgery, intimidation, and even beatings to seize their land. Needless to say, Putin is a very well-protected man. 
Jesus, man. I mean, it was a good video, but some of these were just wild, man. Putin is just different, bro. I swear to God. Still not as heavily guarded as, as me by my mother. Felt sorry for Bill Gates and that salt. I know, I was like, wait, what the hell? I was, I've never even seen this before. I wish that I was that protected. 207 Mark Zuckerberg doing his best impression of a human. Oh, he's to protect their executives. He's <laughs> just act so weird. No matter how many they are, how much money they have, they can't stop John Wick. I have a great German Shepherd. Even Trump can't touch me with my dog's permission. Oh, poor Bill Gates, he really looks shook up. God is my protector all the way. Who can protect them when the angel of death comes in the way? I have ozone to protect me from the sun. I'm one of the most protected people in the world because everyone's just saying this. 654 million on security, no way. Just think about that for a minute. It's crazy, man. In Mother Russia, security team protects people from Putin. Where is Indian Prime Minister Modi? Who goes in 150 cars? Where? <laughs> Interesting, again, some of these places probably would be different. You could probably mix sort of place people at different um, spots and all this different stuff but still I've just sort of watched the video to get the grand sort of scheme of things and it's just interesting to see how much certain people and how much all of these people spend to just protect themselves whether it's like Harry how Harry and Meghan had it before with their home or just all these different things it's just an interesting look but yeah hopefully you enjoy this one again probably not 100% correct but it's just a bit of fun but hope you yeah, okay. get that's about it really until next time like subscribe peace